Hello everyone, here is a quick video on how to factory reset this Yeastar TA100 device. So this is helpful if, for example, in my one I'm doing in this video, I've set the IP to something I don't know, or it's not in the range that my computer can get to, um, and I need to factory reset it without being able to get to the web admin interface. This does mean that the person who configured this initially has not set the uh, gateway settings feature codes voice menu password setting, which would mean that the passcode to do the reset uh, is a custom passcode. What I what in that instance where you don't know the password to log into this or you can't get to its IP address or um, you need you know set to PPPoE or something where you can't get to the web admin interface and if somebody's changed the passcode I actually don't know how you would recover from that situation um, hopefully for most of you the passcode will be the default one which is one two three four five six so to perform a factory reset and um, let me see if I can get more of this in the video on uh, my screen over here I am pinging actually the IP address I do know um, which it shouldn't be on which is 102 and you can see when that stops responding to pings and then you can also see when uh, it goes back to the default settings on DHCP and it starts responding to pings uh, on this lower window here let me change the uh, font size so there's slightly more delineation um, that's the wrong IP that is the IP we do want it to be on so we can tell when it's gone off because it's rebooting and we can tell when it's come back on so to do your factory reset you pick up the telephone, you should get dial tone, you dial three stars, so uh, star, star, star. You'll get a menu, you need to press the number three. Enter the password, which by default is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then hash. Number eight is the factory reset. Press one to continue. That hung up on me and very soon after it should stop responding to pings, which it has, and soon after that these uh, lights on this telephone will probably go out as it uh, there you go, reboots. It's dumped the power so there's no power going to the telephone and this thing will now start up again from the beginning. We can see the, the wrong IP that we didn't know, although in this instance for this demonstration we did know, has stopped responding and uh, over here, very soon, when this thing finishes booting, we should see it back on the IP address that we expect it to be on. So by default, this gets an IP address from DHCP, and once the thing's booted up, if you've got no way of finding out the IP address from your router, oh, there we go, it's, it's now online again, on the default IP. Uh, if you can't get the IP address from the router, which is going to be the easiest way of finding the um, IP of this. You pick up the telephone, which hasn't yet... Uh, there we go, it's uh, powered on the telephone. It's not yet giving me dial tone though. Anyway, the instructions are here if you want to pause it, but you do star 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 and then wait until you hear uh, um, an electronic voice and then you press 1 to hear the IP address settings, which I'll go through just now. Still waiting for it to be ready, still no dial tone. Okay, I do have dial tone now. So, star, star, star. So, number one. There we go, it tells you what the IP address is. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers do really help. So thanks very much.